canvas or your wood panel with a light yellow. So he kind of comes up like this, there's an orange, and then there's an apple back here. Okay, now just paint in your vase with your light blue. Okay, now let's block in some of the colors of our fruit. So get your red on your big brush, and let's start painting in our apples. So there's three in this bowl. Let's paint our lemons before we mix the orange for oranges. Let's paint our three lemons. So rinse off your brush and dip it in your yellow. And remember, after you rinse it, blot it on your rag. You'll get too much water on your brush and then it's gonna start running down your painting. Okay, rinse off your brush. We're gonna make orange. So to make orange, you mix your yellow and your red together. Once you get an orange that you like, go ahead and start painting in your oranges. So they're the rest of these circles. Now let's go ahead and paint in the white in our plate and let's paint one more layer of white over our cloth. Now we're ready to start adding some of our highlights and some of our shadows. Before we do that, let's paint a little bit more yellow over our lemon and maybe add a little white to it. Let's go ahead and let's shade our base first. So for the shadows, let's just dip right into our blue and I'm going to come on this side and I'm just going to paint in this whole side of it. But you want to curve them because this is a round object. Okay, now let's get some highlights on this pot. I'm going to get some of our white and mix it with our blue and we can make some of these highlights in here. And then rinse your brush off and get some pure white. We're gonna put some white highlights on this. Now I'm gonna get a little bit more of my medium blue. Might need a little bit more of the shadow that's right here. There are some blue lines on our plate that I'm just gonna add really quick here. Now let's start adding some highlights and shadows. So to add the highlights, we can use orange or we could use yellow. Let's go ahead and add some of the highlights to our oranges. We're just gonna make that a little bit lighter with white. But before we add the shadows, maybe let's add a little bit of the greens so that we can see. So to make a green, you mix blue and yellow with a tiny bit of blue because we want it to just be lime green. Now let's put some of the shadows on. So to make the red darker, we're just gonna add a little bit of blue to it. So we're kind of making a purple. And then once we get that purple, we can start adding some of the shadows on our apples. So now let's put some of some even darker shadows on our apples. So let's get a lot of blue and mix it with our red. Make it like a dark purple. Let's put some shadows on our oranges. So to make orange darker, we just add more red to it. And we can drop in some of those shadows. Remember, don't paint stripes because our fruit is not flat, it's round. Okay, and I'm gonna make a little bit of a darker orange with more more red. 
Okay, so now we're just gonna add some shadows to our lemons. Just add a little red to your yellow, and we're gonna put some shadows on that backside. It's important to look and see where is the light coming from, and can you tell what side it's coming from? Like, can you tell it's coming from this side? So if you can't, maybe you need to add a few more shadows. So now we have the fruit kind of locked in, so now let's add some shadows and folds in our fabric. We wanna mix up a purple. Make sure you have all of your paints ready. You have enough white, and then you have blue and red, because you can mix purple or purple blue color like we did for our background. And I'm gonna use this color for the folds, and I'm gonna mix a little bit of white with it right here, just so I can make sure I have the shadow color ready. So let's get that purple and let's make some of the lines for these folds. I'm gonna come out from this apple and down. Add the shadow that's on the left of it. Rinse my brush off. Blot it off on my paper towel or my rag. Then get the white and I'm just gonna slowly feather it next to that shadow. Do you, so you see how it's getting kind of softer? And then I'm gonna kind of bring it on this side. And the last thing you do is you add the details. If you want to re-outline things, you can do that now. I'm gonna use the same color we used to do our first outlines, which is blue. You don't have to re-outline everything, just anywhere you feel like you lost your shapes, then you can go ahead and re-outline them. Anywhere it looks like you can't tell where your apples are, go ahead and outline those. Okay, and then you need to sign it and go show your friends. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's so fun to learn how to paint following the artists. I wish we would have had a little more time to talk about Cezanne, but I'll try to make a video about Cezanne and include a more of his history and his style. So you can look up Still Life by Paul Cezanne and it'll show you some great images of um, inspiration for this lesson and this project. Have a great day and we'll see you around on YouTube.